you. So in case if you're wondering why my hair looks like the mess that it looks like right now, it's because I haven't washed it in three and a half days. Yes, it's true. Um, well, it's really difficult to sort of find extra 20 minutes every time you need to wash your hair, especially when you're running on tight schedules, which happens a lot to me for some reason. So this video is actually a very much requested video. Uh, when I put up my April favorites video, a lot of you asked me about the dry shampoo, about where I bought it from, about what my experience has been like using it. And a couple of you also asked me to do an all exclusive review about the product. So here I have with me the dry shampoo by Be Blunt. To answer your questions about the pricing, the big one that is 125 ml is something I paid around 550 rupees for, and the smaller one, which is about 30 ml, I paid 250 rupees for. So it's really not that expensive at all. It's like any other regular shampoo, but this shampoo also helps you save time. Now, to help you understand how this product is used, I'm going to do a full fledged demonstration with you and then tell you what the advantages that I faced in my personal experience over the course of around a month and a half of using these products have been like. Keep watching! So, to start with, I'm using a white tooth comb and sort of just combing my hair out to make sure I don't have any knots. So, to begin with, I'm going to take my tail comb and just make a really nice parting in the middle of my hair. There you go. Take your bee blunt dry shampoo and shake it really well. You have to make sure that your spray is well shaken because otherwise it's not going to give you the desired results. You need to take the product, sort of position it upward. Now what you need to do is you need to make sure that you're spraying it evenly across the hair. You can start from the roots and obviously pay special attention to the roots but you can also apply it to your hair so sort of make sure it's even just make sure that when you're spraying it you don't land up over spraying it on certain areas because then you're going to have different textures across your hair which obviously you don't want so here we go now i'm going to take the tail comb move the parting this side and repeat the exact same step on this side to make sure that all my hair is getting that exposure to the product. I'm going to just spray a little extra on the roots because that's obviously the main area you wash and scrub your hair at. You'll obviously notice the white product sort of settling down on your hair. Don't panic, it takes about 2-3 to three minutes to settle down so you're not growing old, it's just absolutely normal to use dry shampoo and see the product on your hair. And I'm going to repeat the exact same parting and steps on this side of my hair now. So by the time you're done with these first three steps and you wait for about two to three minutes for the product to settle down and make sure if there's any residue left or no residue left, what I like to do is flip my hair downwards and make sure I spray some dry shampoo to the back and bottom of my head as well. So I'm going to take the product, shake, 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 always shake before you use. And I'm just gonna quickly run my fingers through to make sure it gets spread and I'm gonna flip my hair back up. It's like a Bollywood movie scene. <laughs> and you can see when I flip my hair back up, look at the volume on me. Just look at it. My hair is not this thick, okay? So my hair looks so full in just like two minutes of me applying it and I love the look absolutely. I'm gonna take my fingers and ruffle up my hair just a little bit to make sure that all my hair is exposed to the product. If you'd like, again, this is only if you'd like, okay? You can take your hair to one side or take them strand by strand, take the product and apply some to the front area as well. When I say front area, what I basically mean is this area that you can see in front and not necessarily that you're blinded about at the back. Take the product, shake and just and I like to ruffle it up, like I said. So now I'm just going to take my white tooth comb and make sure that I comb through my hair, making sure that all my hair is sort of in place. 
Now I just really quickly want to take a minute to highlight why I use this product because I know that a lot of you are going to ask me questions about this in the comment section below but I'd like to address it in the very beginning. Um, using a dry shampoo is something that a lot of us have inhibitions about. I had inhibitions about it for a very long time because I was worried about it hampering my hair, my growth, thickness of my hair. I also for some reason had this really weird impression about whether my hair is going to start getting rough or whatever. I've been using this product for about 8 weeks now and if there's anything I've learned about my hair is that it's just become so much more flexible, it's become so much more manageable especially in this heat right and um, I just feel that I sort of save a lot of time getting ready. So um, if you want to add texture, if you want to add volume, major volume issues here, I have pretty thin hair and uh, if you want to save time and look at a convenient thing, dry shampoo is your go to. Dry shampoo should be your go-to, right? So if you feel you have any queries about this product, please let me know. You know you can talk to me on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and Snapchat and email and the comment section below. And um, I hope that you're going to try this product. I hope that you're going to let me know how your experience was in the comment section below. And uh, if you have any queries, you know I'm right here. So I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.